CAF's landmark decision against the Libya Football Federation for harsh treatment of Nigeria Super Eagles, implications and hopes for fair play in African football. The Confederation of African Football, CAF, recently issued a decisive ruling on the actions taken by the Libya Football Federation against the Nigeria Football Federation, NFF, and the Super Eagles, Nigeria's national football team. This decision follows a formal complaint by the NFF, detailing the series of injustices and mistreatment faced by the Nigerian team during their AFCON 2025 qualifying match on October 15, 2023. The ruling by CAF not only reflects a commitment to fair play within African football, but also sets a precedent to deter similar acts in the future. Background of the Incident the controversy began as Nigeria Super Eagles prepared to play the second leg Afghan 2025 qualifier against Libya in Benghazi. Initially, the Nigerian team was scheduled to land in Benghazi, where they had secured landing rights. However, upon arrival, Libyan authorities denied the team access to the airport, forcing their aircraft to reroute to a much farther location. This decision, made despite the pilots' warnings about low fuel, put the lives of Nigerian players and staff in danger, prompting outrage from the Nigerian side. In addition to the landing ordeal, the Libyan authorities imposed further hardships on the Super Eagles. They reportedly denied the Nigerian team access to any local hotels, leaving them without proper accommodation. Essential necessities like food, water, and internet were also withheld for a grueling 20 hours. The Nigerian team, feeling these actions went beyond gamesmanship and bordered on human rights violations, staged a protest by refusing to play the match under such conditions. These actions led to the NFF's formal complaint to CAF, calling for disciplinary action against the Libyan Football Federation. CAF's Investigation and Findings Following Nigeria's complaint, CAF conducted an investigation into the allegations against the Libyan authorities and the Libyan Football Federation. CAF found that Libya had breached multiple codes of conduct and failed to meet its obligations as a host nation in providing a fair and secure environment for visiting teams. The investigation confirmed that the Nigerian team had been subjected to treatment that contravened CAF's regulations and spirit of fair competition. The time frame given to the Libyan Football Federation to respond to the allegations also elapsed without an adequate response, leading CAF to finalize its decisions. In light of these findings, CAF took significant steps to address and penalize Libya's actions. Key Decisions by CAF CAF announced the following measures as part of its final decision. 1. Coordinating the match to Nigeria The contested match will not be replayed and Nigeria is awarded all three points for the match. This decision is not only a penalty against Libya, but also a recognition of the unacceptable conditions forced upon the Nigerian team. 2. A default scoreline of 3-0 in favor of Nigeria, in addition to awarding the points, CAF has stipulated a 3-0 victory for Nigeria, a gesture that reflects the gravity of the offenses committed by the Libyan side. 3. Financial penalty, Libya is required to pay a fine of $50,000 to the Nigeria Football Federation and the Super Eagles. This monetary sanction serves as both compensation for the mistreatment endured by the Nigerian team and a financial deterrent to discourage similar actions in the future. Interestingly, despite the severity of the actions, Libya managed to avoid a complete ban from participating in CAF competitions. This outcome could reflect CAF's commitment to keep all its member countries actively involved in the sport while maintaining strict standards for conduct. The Broader Implications of CAF's Decision 
This decisive ruling by CAF marks a pivotal moment for African football. North African teams have historically faced accusations of subjecting their sub-Saharan African counterparts to hostile reception and unfair conditions during competitive tournaments. Nigerian clubs, such as Inimba FC and Rivers United, have previously voiced complaints about facing similar hostile treatment when competing in North African countries like Libya, Tunisia, Egypt, Algeria, and Morocco. The CAF decision signals a strong warning to these regions, making it clear that such behavior will not be tolerated in the future. CAF sanctions against Libya underscore a commitment to ensuring fair play, security, and hospitality across all member nations. By addressing these grievances openly and imposing measurable consequences, CAF has set a standard that is likely to have a lasting impact on the dynamics of African football. Member nations will be encouraged to uphold their responsibilities as hosts, recognizing that failure to do so could lead to significant sanctions. The road ahead for Nigeria and Libya With the 3-0 awarded victory, Nigeria's position in the AFCON 2025 qualifiers is strengthened, bringing them closer to the opportunity to showcase their talent on the continental stage. This ruling offers a morale boost to the Super Eagles and highlights CAF support for African teams that adhere to fair play. For Libya, the sanctions serve as a cautionary tale and a chance to reflect on their treatment of visiting teams. While they avoided a full ban from CAF competitions, the financial penalty and forfeiture of the match emphasize the importance of respecting international sportsmanship standards. Moving forward, the Libyan Football Federation will likely be under increased scrutiny in how it handles visiting teams, especially in high-stakes matches. Conclusion, toward a new standard of hospitality and fair play in African football. CAF's ruling against the Libya Football Federation represents more than just disciplinary action, it is a step toward fostering a spirit of unity and respect within African football. The hope is that other member associations will take note and ensure that every visiting team receives the hospitality and respect they deserve, irrespective of competitive tensions. As African football continues to grow in prominence, CAF's commitment to accountability and fair play will be essential in maintaining the integrity of the sport across the continent. For fans of the Super Eagles and supporters of fair competition everywhere, CAF's decision is a welcome development that highlights a hopeful path forward in African football. For further updates on the Super Eagles, African qualifiers, World Cup qualifiers, and more on Team Nigeria, fans are encouraged to subscribe to Avunculus Production on YouTube and activate notifications for the latest insights and news.